Hi, right, hey, my name is Mr. Cowan, and I'm going to give you an introduction to the class uh, Foundations of Digital Technology here at Centennial Middle School. And so we cover quite a few different topics within this course, and one of those topics is productivity, um, that is using your computer to be productive in different ways. And so things that we cover when we're going through this class are how to use Canvas, which is a website that most teachers use in order to house some sort of content for you to, for learning for their classes. And in our class, we just learn how to use the website and then how to use it for our class especially. Uh, we also learn how to navigate Windows files and folders to make sure you always know where your stuff is at. We learn how to use Office 365 and cloud applications. And you get a little introduction to Khan Academy, which can be really helpful with other classes that you'll take while you're in middle school and high school. We also work on keyboarding. Uh, we use a site called typing.com and we earn badges through that site as we practice more on keyboarding, really working on uh, using the right fingers and posture to develop speed over time, which will really help you in a lot of different your classes that you have as you go on throughout your years uh, at Centennial and Snohomish. Um, in terms of the grading, we don't grade you on your time ever. We just want you to practice and develop the right skills and habits in order to really develop that speed slowly and over time. Uh, we also talk about digital citizenship in our class and the way we learn digital citizenship um, topics is through playing video games in our class and so we learn things like creating strong passwords and how to be a good human in a digital space and identifying fake news and scams and thinking carefully about what you post and what you share online and also just thinking carefully about who and what we follow and what that reflects on us. We also do a little bit on computer programming. Uh, we use a site called code.org, which is a really basic introduction to computer programming. And you're just going to learn the basic fundamentals through kind of a block-based structure where you don't have to type any actual code, you're just dragging and clicking blocks together. And you do these little interactive programming challenges based around some things you might be familiar with, like Minecraft or Frozen or like programming different songs you might like, uh, just to learn the very basics of computer programming. The way the course works, kind of structurally, is that it's a quarter-long class, so it takes a quarter of the year, and every seventh grader at some point during their year will take this class. Um, the course is delivered online through Canvas. Uh, you do come to a class every day, and I'll be your teacher, but all the content for the course is online, and it's available 24-7 from any internet-connected computer in the world. You can work on stuff in school. You can also work on stuff for this class for the vast majority of it. You can access all of it from any internet connected computer and work on it outside of school as well. Um, you can test out a requirements like keyboarding if you already have proficiency. So you've already learned to type at certain speeds, you'll be able to test out of that and then you don't have to do the practice related to you know the beginner or inter intermediate levels depending on your speed. Um, in general, all students can work at their own pace. So if you already know some of the content for this class, you'll be able to get ahead. And if you need some extra time, you can have additional time and extra attempts. And if you need that extra time, there's no penalty on your grade. Um, just once you submit evidence of learning the concept or skill, whatever it is we're working on, it's 100% full credit. The goal in this class is to make sure every student learns these concepts and skills depending on whether or not they have a lot of expertise in terms of using computers in these different ways, or if they have none at all. We want to make it a space where everybody feels welcome, everybody feels like they're learning, and the class works well for them. Um, in general, if students do complete the course requirements before the end date, which happens quite a bit, they get a lot of choice about what they learn next after they hit those basics. And they have choices about learning about more about computer programming, or how to make video games, or doing photography, or photo editing with Photoshop. There's a lot of different choices that pop up after you hit the basic requirements for the class. So that's it for Foundations of Technology. I look forward to seeing you next year.